Riding off to South Wales again this weekend. 16 games of the season left and you go into the weekend probably feeling good after that win over Ipswich Town. Yeah, the lads will be feeling good, mate, to be in good spirits. Um, fantastic win, as you said, against Ipswich Town. A good quality team coming up against a different type but similar type formation and trying to play on the front foot. Um, going obviously to South Wales to their own patch is going to be tough, which we know. But as you said, I think we're in good form. Uh, the results have been a lot better. And we want to try and continue that and get a bit of consistency for the last remaining 16 games of the season. Yeah, yeah I remember I remember every game I go to Cardiff and play. Um, they're always interesting uh, for me being an ex-Swansea uh, player. Um, yeah, I, I think we, we wasn't that great. Um, and I think we come in after and uh, yeah, we, you know, I think the manager gave us a little bit and said like, we, we, wasn't, we wasn't good enough. So yeah, I do remember the game. I remember every game that I play at Cardiff. Brown leading out an unchanged Preston North End side this afternoon following victory over high-flying Ipswich Town last time out. North End hoping to back up the win. And
keep within striking distance of the top six. Ryan Lowe keeps faith with the side that saw off Ipswich. Andrew Hughes back on home soil makes his 200th appearance for Preston North End, having come through the Cardiff City Academy before being released prior to getting a scholarship. He here hoping on a special landmark appearance to prove his point against Cardiff City. North End then line up with Woodman in goal, a man who won three of four South Wales derbies in the colours of Swansea City. it back does the Scott Turnbull now within G once more and tried to play it through Brown block nearly fell back for him but North End turn it forward and now have men running into the Cardiff half Frockyard releases Reese on the left hand side keen into the box Emil Reese continues and Emil Reese on the counter gets his first off the season his first since his lengthy injury layoff and you can see the relief as Emil Rees punches the air and runs across to the travelling North End faithful. It's Cardiff City nil, Preston North End 1. What a goal by Emil, that's what he does best. One be one in the box, he can't touch him, he traps so quickly and it's such a relaxed, calm finish at the near post. Well, as soon as he got it on the left wing, he sized up Gutas, went past him, also see office, and crashed it in at the near post. Emil Rees back off the mark for Preston North End. Relief personified. You can see just how much it means to him. That grin won't be being wiped off his face anytime soon. No, he deserves that because I remember last week he got one uh, took away from him. So he'll be happy to get that one now. Well, the Cardiff City bench furious at the concession of the goal. Ryan Lowe happy. And how that came about for his side. They've had to soak up pressure in this first half. They're just past the half hour mark. Have the telling contribution. Away. Just over five minutes left of the initial 45 at the start of this first half down in the Principality. Potts into Keane, finds Frockyard, Frockyard throw on goal, looks to set it back, Wyman! Clinical as you like! Preston North End double the lead and at the heart of it once more is that man, Mas Frockyard. Kept his call as he bore down on goal and unselfishly set it on a play for Ben Whiteman, who makes it Cardiff City nil, Preston North End 2. Really calm and composed Mads Frockier there. He's found the beautiful pass to Whitey, who all he needs to do is literally roll it in like he has done. And it's 2-0, I think they deserve that as well, Preston. Been really resolute at the back, hurting Cardiff on the break. It's not often that Ben Whiteman makes his way into the opposition penalty area, but when he does, he often makes it count as he did there. Maz Frockyar with the four ball to roll it square for the number four, put it through the defender's legs and beyond the reach of the keeper. North End double their lead, five before the break. In front of that away end, who couldn't have enjoyed their first half anymore.
Woodman clears downfield. It's party time in the Principality. Preston North End with a double. See off the Bluebirds to fly heavily into playoff contention. Ryan Lowe's side make it back-to-back -back wins ahead of Middlesbrough's visit to detail in the week. Emil Rees with his first goal after his lengthy injury layoff, added to by Ben Whiteman, as North End hit twice in the first half to take the points from South Wales. It's finished here, Preston North End, the victors. Cardiff City nil, Preston North End two. For the lads, I think, and the fans that have travelled, it's, it's another three points. It's back-to-back -back wins. Um, the lads have been fantastic uh, of late. We, we want to show our appreciation. It's always nice when we win because you know you're going to get the, the, the appreciation, and, and you know, and, and we want them to, to relish it. We don't want to get too high and too low. We never do. We want to, you know, appreciate their support, come on and support us. And them long trips, you know, it took us six hours yesterday. I don't know how long it took you, but. It's definitely took the fans long, long, long to get here today and spent all of our money and trust me it doesn't go unnoticed so again big thank you.